What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode 51 of our Pokemon Platinum Severely Randomized Nuzlocke. Last time, we did some theorizing as to why Jasmine is in Sunny Shore City in Sinnoh, and then we made our way here to the Victory Road. Today, we're going to be trying to get all the way through it. We might only get about halfway through it, though. We'll find out. Um, but if you do have fun during today's episode, make sure you know what to do. I've changed that. Anyway, you know what to do. Let's get in with a quick team recap. First up, we have Jaya the God, level 51 Grass Steel type Arceus, holding the Iron Plate, who will die literally to any fire move. Quiet Nature with Shell Armor, with Iron Head, Seed Bomb, Thunder Fang, and Leech Seed. We have Kree, the level 51 Ground Fire type Zatu, holding the Flame Plate, who will literally die to any water type move. Modest Nature with Vital Spirit, Fire Punch, Payback, Surf, and Toxic. Then we have Aode, our level 43 Flying Psychic type Breloom, holding the Mind Plate. Hasty Nature with Filter, the Psychic Fly, Return, and Seed Flare. Then we have Nadia, the last remaining member of our Elite Squad, our level 50 Poison Normal type Palkia, holding the Choice Band. Bashful Nature with Flash Fire, with Cross Poison, Body Slam, Rock Climb, and Fly. We have Sevan, our level 52 water type Mew, holding the splash plate, relax nature, with soundproof, with bubble, oh, and a 101 hit points, don't ever disrespect him, with bubble beam, giga drain, hydro cannon, and seed flare. And lastly, we have Friar, the indestructible, level 52 water fighting type Rapidash, holding the wide lens, lax nature, with own tempo, with waterfall, rock smash, spore, and confuse ray. Why are we still holding the wide lens? Wait a second, what? Hold on, we're gonna change that right now. We're gonna change that to another splash plate. No, oh, let's give it the... Which plate does fighting? Not the toxic plate, not the icicle plate. Not the insect plate. Not the stone plate. Not the iron plate. Not the mine plate. Not the earth plate. Really? Hold on, let me look one more time. I could have sworn I got it. And I'll explain in just a minute why I look so tired. I don't think we got it. So we're just going to go with the splash plate to power up waterfall. Okay. Now, as we're jumping into today's episode, the question of the day for today is going to be um, when you're celebrating something, where do you go to eat? Because... Oh yeah, all the Pokemon that we face in here are really strong, and there's a lot of them. I wish I had repels. But I think I bought repels in a different game that we're playing. This looks like the perfect place to have a hidden item. Apparently not! Apparently it's just a worthless, we want you to run into more Pokemon. I apologize, this is probably going to be a speed up button episode. And we're going to be training Jaya up, hopefully, hopefully, not getting hit by any fire moves. Uh, but anyway, when, when, you, when you're celebrating something, where do you, where do you go when it's, when you get to, I did a lot. When you get to choose, where do you go for food? Oh! Why does everything have a fighting type move? Leave me alone. What's up, giant? Alright, I'm gonna switch. Let's go... Nadia? You also have a fighting type move. Why? Enough. Enough of this. Did you just endure? What the heck? Anyway, um, tonight I was celebrating the recent promotion that I got, and uh, 
I went to a Brazilian steakhouse. If you've never been to a Brazilian steakhouse, I will explain it because you absolutely should go. It's a little expensive, but I think it's definitely worth it. A metronome, what does that do? I've actually, I've seen Pokeaim use a metronome. Hold item that boosts a move used consecutively. Oh, that makes sense. Today I learned. Um, but anyway. Uh, oh, I do have Rock Smash. I do have Rock Smash. Um, this way first. Right. I thought... I could have sworn I gave Nadia... No, I didn't. Oh, he has returned. Let's do that. Um, but anyway, at a Brazilian steakhouse, what happens is you sit down and they give you a card. There's a card on your table where it's like a little like a little chip or whatever it is at the place. And it's either flipped to green or it's flipped to red. When it's flipped to green, they're going to bring you meat. And they just bring meat around and you tell them if you want it or not. And they put it on your plate. So it wound up being that I ate a lot. And I, I have... I have since my energy level is dipped because I ate so much. I think that's how that works. I think that's how that works. Ooh, a grow vial. That might be the first grow vial that we've seen. There we go. But anyway, that's my choice. So like tonight I had I had some sirloin. I had some it's like picanye or something. Whatever it's called. Um, yeah, whatever it's called. It's really good. They had, like, garlic beef or something like that. They had chicken wrapped in bacon. They had sausage. It's really good. It's really good. Like I said, it is a little, a little expensive, but I think it's worth it. I think it's absolutely worth it. All right, well, let's continue on. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite... The, your favorite celebra celebratory meal. Where do you where do you go? I centered. I didn't even check to see if I was centered. There's so many Pokemon. It really just... It really kind of takes some of the fun out of it. The fact that there's so many wild Pokemon. Judgment? Did this thing just use my own signature move against me? Onyx. Sky Uppercut. Can you not? Can you still not? Please. I'm asking nicely if you could stop this. That Sky Upper... That, that Leech Seed was a waste of time, wasn't it? That leech seed was definitely a a waste of time. But I'm gonna do another one here. Tail glow? Can we not? Can we like? Can we not and say we did? Double tail glow? Spike? Dead. Okay. That wasn't so bad. I don't know why. I was nervous when I... Have we fought a Waylord before? I feel like I fought a Waylord before. Surely there's an item here somewhere. Oh. Didn't I click there? Would have been the best guess. They call me an item finder in Pokemon Reborn. Oh! Yeah, that would have been wrong. Okay. There we go. See, you, speaking of Pokemon Reborn, I'm the best puzzles person on the planet. The best puzzles on the planet. I am defense. That ain't gonna help you. Charge. That ain't gonna help you. Nothing will help you. Spoilers. All right, fine. I'm just gonna leech seed you and take the rest of this. Ooh. Bastard. Ooh, look at that magnet. Oh, okay. Of 
course you still have detect. All right, we're doing okay so far. We're getting, we're getting through it. We're getting through it. Last thing I want is for Jaya to get. Oh, which way is not the progression way? Explode. I'm gonna go into Nadia here. Whoa! This thing just tried to kill me! Also, that's like the strat. Lead Jaya and then bait switch into... That's the strategy. Hold up. Nadia's not confused about anything. Why'd that do so much? I mean, I know why that did so much. My health is... Or my attack stat's really high. But... Nadia. Stop playing. Thank you. That's like... That's the strat. I'm gonna lead... Arceus. And when I see... When I see something scary, I'm gonna switch. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. You're you're not you're gonna stop right now, Mr. Ride on right or Rhyperior. Nadia. Hey, that's not okay, Nadia. Nadia, no! No, 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 stop. Stop. Nadia! Hey! I need you to hit. Thank you. Doesn't affect. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. At least I at least I can work with that. I'm gonna go Friar. Good. That's what I was hoping for. Use Nasty Plot all you want. Oh, you're still alive. Alright, Spore. <laughs> I, t I don't know why, but for some reason I didn't expect him to live. There we go. Alright, you're good. You're gone. That was scary. I can't believe that Exploud actually went for Flamethrower. Against me! Alright, I'm gonna check and see if this is... I don't... The other way leads back to the first floor, so I'm more inclined to believe that that's the way to go. Also, can we talk about how I'm, like, amazing at these puzzles without even, like, looking at them? Ask me when the last time was I played Victory Road in Sinnoh. Because the answer is like actually it's actually only like six months because i i did kind of just play through it not long ago off screen of course all right let's continue again we might this might be a, sh a little shorter of an episode um just because i want to the episode's gotta happen but i'm i'm very tired all right i think it's about time that we get nadia up but they're hurting, and I'm kind of scared, because these Pokemon, this is what we were thinking of. We were specifically thinking about the end game when, when we randomized the game like we did. Ooh. Um, I'm going to go Fantine and... Let's just get rid of Mantine. Why I think Mantine is more threatening, I will never know, but... Alright, we're kind of coasting right now, as our team should. I feel like our team should be coasting. Okay, that did. Kree, are you trying to heal him? I'm just curious. Good job, Kree. Never mind. Kree heard me. Kree heard me. Kree was like, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm just doing my job. Eh. All right. I, don't, I was starting to talk about something. I have no idea. Is there like a good halfway point in this? I doubt it. 
There's no good halfway points like in 6th gen. In 6th gen, there was definitely a halfway point. Is where you had the rival... Oh, shoot. Am I going to have a rival battle in here? That's... These wild Pokemon are getting on my nerves. Like, seriously making me... I don't play with repels. It's never bothered me until I started uploading the videos. Until I started uploading videos, now it bugs me. Now I absolutely despise running into wild Pokemon. That's crazy. That's crazy. It didn't used to bother me at all. At all. I never even noticed the concept of running into too many Pokemon. Um... Really? That's what you're doing? You're using Spite? Now I have to switch. That's... I don't have to switch. I have Body Slam. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's head down. Uh, ooh, water. Alright, let's see if we can... Well, I don't know. I really don't remember how much further it is. Are there any bad Pokemon in this area? Abama Snow! No, stop, stop, please. If Nadia goes down. If Nadia goes down, I, I might rage end the episode. It might just cut. Like, you'll see. I panicked. Uh, if you couldn't tell, that was a panic psychic. That was a panic psychic. I don't, I don't even know. I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. A lot of what we're doing today is making me think about Reborn, like, we're talking about the repels and stuff, and I'm pretty sure I just bought repels for the first time in Reborn. But like, man, my brain is not working tonight. I'm tired. Alright, uh, let's go Body Slam, Dust Noir, Payback, Dust Noir. I'm, I don't know why, I'm scared. This is level 55. That's an issue. Alright, you're fine. Body Slam, Ninjask, Payback, Dust Noir. Everyone's level 50... Hold on. Everyone except Nadia is level 52. Alright. I think it almost might be time to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. Today's episode hasn't been very eventful. But... Oh! You know what we could talk about? I probably meant to talk about this sooner, but... We're coming to the end of our trip in Sinnoh, which means we've got to start packing our bags for the next adventure. And, uh, it won't be Unova. I might- How did I forget? How did I forget? Nadia doesn't miss. Gengar? Is this the first Gengar that we've seen? I think it is. 
I feel like this is the first not this is the first uh, Gengar that we've seen. That was Gengar's sick. What a what a cool Pokemon. All right. But yeah, we won't be going to Unova just yet. You know, I've I've said that I've said that Gen 5 is not my favorite. That's not the reason. To clear that up, that's not the reason. Uh, we'll talk about it. Ooh, I just got the TM for Cross Poison. Is this gonna be like Mystery Dungeon? Can I teach can I teach Cross Poison twice? Anyway. Uh, I think it's about time to wrap up the episode. Uh, I talked about eating at a Brazilian steakhouse, and while it's great, it is a lot of food, which is partially why I'm crashed, why I'm extremely tired, and, well, yeah. Anyway, we're going to wrap up today's episode right there. Today's was the most tired episode that I think I've ever put up. We'll find, I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember. Um, let me know in the comments below what your celebratory meal is when you're celebrating something, whether that's a birthday or something, a job or like graduation, something like that. What, what, where do you go when you have your choice or what kind of food do you eat? Whichever you want to answer. Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoy, there's a mosquito flying around me somewhere. I just saw a corner map. Anyway, if you enjoyed, you know what to do and we will see you in the next episode. Thank you for your time. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.